another unique group of plants and these are called the hornworts and the hornworts are plants that do not have a vascular system and reproduce by the production of zygotes which means we're looking at something that's very rudimentary very low down on the evolutionary chain these are things that started at out back when we started getting plants that started moving on to a more terrestrial environment when we look at a hornwort, a hornwort often looks like this. Now you're saying, wait a second, that just looks like a mass of cells. Yes, this is what we call a thallus. A thallus is basically the body of the plant that really doesn't have a great amount of form to it. So a thallus becomes very important. What you do see is you do see the reproductive structures coming up the upper part. These are going to produce the zygotes. The zygotes are then going to drop off and they're going to start to produce a green leafy-like structure down on the bottom that's going to grow in a very moist environment. And occasionally when conditions are proper, they're going to start to put up these structures. These structures will produce spores. The spores fall down, start the production of a new thallus. In that new thallus, you're going to have the production of the male parts, the female parts. They're going to come together and they're going to generate the new plant that's going to look like this. You often find these in very moist environments. You find them along streams, and if you really aren't paying attention, you may totally overlook it. But it's a very unique group of plants, and again, it's a beginning of a terrestrial group of plants. We call them hornworts because the elongate structure that comes up looks more like a horn than anything else. We group them in the Anthocerophyta, and they are called hornworts because they have the elongate sporophyte, and the sporophyte is that little stick, that little horn that's coming up out of the plant.